Song Chen Kui. Please be seated. The President, the court is now back in session. The Chamber pronounced the ruling on the application by the civil party lead co-lawyers. Last Friday, the civil party lead co-lawyers filed a list of civil parties to testify during the hearing on sufferings relating to the work size. Document E315-1-3.1 they now request to file a revised list within two weeks. They submit that they need additional time to consider the co-prosecutor's uh, disclosure of several hundred, ca uh, several hundred case 003 and 004 civil party applications related to Trapang Tmo Dam expected this week and whether this will require them to amend the list filed. None of the other parties object to this request. Although information contained in civil party applications in cases 003 and 004 have limited relevance as only individuals who are civil parties in case 002 can be selected to appear during the impact hearing, the chamber nonetheless considers that a revision of the list in two weeks' time is appropriate in the current circumstances to preserve the victim's rights to participate in the trial. Considering the impact hearings and key documents hearings are tentatively scheduled for the first week of September, the list will be finalized in, a, in advance of the hearing and provide the parties and chamber sufficient advance notice to prepare. The lead co-lawyer's request is therefore granted and a revised list of civil parties is to be filed by the 24th of August 2015. Mr. President, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, you may now resume your line of questioning uh, with the witness in question. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, witness, right before the break, uh, I, I had asked you um, about whether the water, whether you knew whether the water that you were drinking that was from the stream was purified before it was given to you. And the answer I heard was no, but it wasn't clear to me if you didn't know or if it wasn't purified. So can you please tell us whether you know if the water was purified before it was given to you to drink? That I do not know whether or not the water was purified or not. Thank you. Did you ever attend any meetings while you were working at the Trapang Tama Dam worksite? Yes, I did, but I only attended the lower level meetings. And what do you mean when you say lower level meetings? Who would participate in these meetings? Only um, the battalion chief down 
to the lower level. Jusqu'aux échelons les plus bas. And does that mean that there were other types of meetings for more senior people that you were aware of? Personnes de rang supérieur dont vous étiez au courant? That I do not know. And what would be discussed at the meetings that you attended? Those meetings I attended were about uh, strengthening the activities of building the dam and intensify our activities in uh, completing the construction of the dam. Who would talk at these meetings? The battalion chief. And do you remember the battalion chief's name? Question, quel était le nom de ce chef de bataillon? Bat Yam. Yes, I do. Réponse, oui, je le connais. Can you please say what it is? Question, et pourriez-vous nous donner le nom? He was a man by the name Run. Question, c'était Run, un homme. And how often would these meetings be held? Question, et à quelle fréquence se tenaient ces réunions? But once every week or ten days. Une fois toutes les semaines ou tous les dix jours. And in your position as deputy platoon chief, did you communicate the information that you learned at the meeting to anyone else? Communiquez-vous cette information à qui que ce soit? But Upon returning from the meeting, uh, I was obliged to uh, call the members under my supervision uh, to attend the dissemination, information dissemination uh, session. And what would you say at these information dissemination sessions? I talked uh, to them about the issue concerning the discipline and the division and management of tasks. Did the battalion chief, when he was leading meetings, ever say where he got his information from that he was providing to you? He said uh, he received from the headquarters. And what did you understand the headquarters to mean? Et à votre avis, d'après ce que vous compreniez, que signifiait le siège? Actually, it was the from the. Uh, Com commander in charge of the uh, Trapentmoor Dam. And who was that person? Uh, he was Taval. 
You mentioned that one of the topics that was discussed was discipline. What did you mean by discipline? By discipline, uh, I meant we had to respect the working hours. Uh, we had to come to the work site on time and leave it on time as well. Did they ever discuss in the meetings what would occur if you didn't come to work on time uh, or otherwise not respect the discipline? Yes, uh, they did discuss that. Uh, if uh, anybody failed to abide by the disciplinary rules, uh, their food ration or their ration in general would be reduced. Do you know how much it would be reduced? Well, first, 20%, by 20%. You said that's first. Would it be reduced by more if there were uh, additional instances of not respecting discipline? La discipline continuait de ne pas être respectée, bah. alors il y avait d'autres cas de figure Yes. Réponse, oui. How much would it be reduced the second time Question, et de combien était la réduction la deuxième fois It would be reduced by 50%. Réponse, 50%. And how about the third time? Question et la troisième. But that I do not know. Was it only not arriving on time Question. for work that was considered an infraction? for which your food would be reduced, or were there other things that a person might do that would result in them having their food reduced? But yes, uh, there were some uh, who reported uh, oui, that uh, they were sick and they could not come uh, to work, but actually they uh, went and do and do something else. Alors, uh, en fait, elles faire they will also uh, be uh, penalized for that. Were there any other sorts of penalties that you were aware of other than having food reduced? Que vous ayez connaissance, mis à part la réduction de la ration alimentaire. Bad. Pum del kointi. No, I never saw. Her. Yes. Je n'ai jamais vu cela. Did you know of any people Question. that had their food reduced? Vous connaissez-vous des gens qui dont la ration alimentaire a été réduite? But yes, I did. Réponse, oui. But I do not recall their Mais names. Je me pas de leur nom. And the people that you knew, what were Question. the violations that they were accused of? Que vous connaissiez, de quoi était-elle accusée? De quelle infraction avait-elle commise? Que they accused them of being um, conscious, a conscious illness, something like that. 
d'être des maladies imaginaires. Do you know what that meant? Avoir des maladies to have a conscious illness? Question. Et savez-vous ce que cela veut dire d'avoir une maladie consciente? Man. To call a spade a spade. Réponse. Hein. Pour appeler un chat Those un chat, people pretended, ces for example, example, to be sick. Were you ever aware of any visitors Question. coming to see the Trapang Tama Dam worksite? Si Réponse. Yes, I did. Can you please tell us who you saw visit the worksite? Réponse. It was the man by the name of Tanyim. C'était Tanyim. And who was Tanyim? Question. Et qui était Tanyim? He was the chairman of the uh, North West zone. zone How many times did you see him visit the site? Question. Combien de fois l'avez-vous vu en visite sur le site? I uh, saw him uh, visit the site three times. And when he came, was he alone or was he with other visitors? Well, he came uh, with uh, other uh, people as well. Uh, every time he came, there were three uh, cars coming with him. Do you remember the approximate dates of when he visited the dam worksite? The three times that you saw him? That I do not recall. And did you know of who else when you, was with him when he visited the dam worksite on any of the occasions? That I do not uh, recall and I did not know any of them. Do you remember seeing anyone else from the upper level come to visit the dam worksite? Or learning about others from the upper level coming to visit the dam worksite? I also saw once the Chinese uh, leaders uh, came to visit uh, the site too. I'll ask you about that in a moment. Um, first, uh, I'd like to um, read you a section from your written record of interview to see if it refreshes your memory about other people that you might have seen visit the work site. Uh, this is at uh, English 00277822-3, uh, French 0048608484, and Kamai 00267756. And you say, quote, I saw upper level come down to inspect. The most senior were Ta Nim, the Northwest Zone Commander. 
Ta Kleng, the Deputy Northwest Zone Commander, Hing, the Sector 5 Commander stationed at Trapang Tama Dam construction site, who inspected frequently every week or two, and Tava, who was stationed at the Trapang Tama Dam construction site both morning and afternoon. Does that refresh your memory? Uh, in regards that you also saw Ta Kleng and Hing visit the work site. Yes, that is correct. How many times did you see Ta Kleng visit the work site? Et combien de fois avez-vous vu Ta Kleng visiter le site? I saw him only once. Réponse, je ne l'ai vu qu'une fois. And how did you know that it was Ta Kleng? Question, et comment saviez-vous que c'était Ta Kleng? Mat Pelba. At the inauguration or the opening of the construction site, uh, uh, Nhiem, uh, who delivered the opening uh, at that uh, ceremony, we, uh, he made mentions that this was the client and uh, he was accompanying him. How many times did you see Hing visit the work site? Combien de fois avez-vous vu Hing visiter le site de travail? But Hung. Hung came to the site uh, often. Hung venait souvent sur le site. Sometimes once a week. Uh, once every two uh, fortnight. Ou une fois toutes les deux semaines. When Ross Nim came to visit the three times, what would he do on his visits? He drove the uh, car and then he stopped by from place uh, to place and he visited uh, the laborers, the workers, uh, and asked uh, whether or not it was uh, easy, the earth was uh, uh, not as tough, so then they could uh, uh, carry it more easily and whether or not the workers could uh, achieve uh, the target uh, set or not per day. And when Hung would visit the work site and Taval would visit the work site, sorry, we'll just start with Hung. When Hung would visit the work site, what would he do while he was there? But I saw uh, Ta Hung uh, there, but he did not do anything specific. He only walked on the uh, dam, uh, and then he uh, looked here and there. Uh, that was it. Would you be told in advance when Ross Nim was coming to visit the work site? Yes, uh, they communicated that visit uh, to us. And would any special preparations be made when Ross Nim was visiting the work site? That I do not know. Were you ever aware of a time when the Trapang Tama Dam worksite came under the control of the southwest zone? Yep. 
from late 1977 onwards. And how did you le site avait été placé sous le contrôle de la zone sud-ouest. I, I do not know. Réponse, je ne sais pas. Were you aware of any changes when the southwest zone Question. took control? Of the work site. Lorsque la zone sud-ouest a pris le contrôle du site de travail, y a-t-il eu des changements Le savez-vous I only knew that once the uh, southwest zone came to take over, uh, those who were from the Northwest zone uh, disappeared. They were no longer there. Do you know why they disappeared? Question. Savez-vous pourquoi ils ont disparu? I do not know. Did your living conditions? Get worse or better or stay the same when the southwest zone took over. Lorsque c'est la zone sud-ouest qui a repris le contrôle. The president interrupts. Uh, Council Copé, you may proceed. Um, I think I have an, an observation in relation to the formulation of the question, not necessarily an objection. Um, I don't think the southwest zone as such um, took over uh, to control uh, all of the northwest zone. There were cadres, most of them who were originally coming from the southwest zone, who took positions in various uh, districts and um, sectors. Uh, there was no particular moment, uh, in my understanding, of a takeover by the southwest zone. Um, the first arrests were, I think, made in February, March 77, and the last ones in May 78. So the question suggests that there was a takeover at one particular point by the southwest zone. I don't think that is an accurate uh, question. Uh, so that's my observation. So maybe prosecution can reformulate the question. Uh, I believe that the witness said that he was aware of the arrival of a uh, cadre from the southwest zone in late 1977. So when I'm talking about the arrival of the southwest zone, I'm referring to what the witness understood the arrival of the southwest zone to be. The President, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed now. Thank you, Mr. President. Did you ever see any arrests at the Trapang Tama Dam worksite? D'arrestation sur le site de Trapang Tama. No. Réponse: No. I'd like to read a portion of your written record of interview. Uh, it's at English 00277821, French 00486083, and Khmer 00267754-55. Quote, one day I saw that they had arrested people and tied them up and were walking them nearby my building during the night. I did not know their names. The people who were walking them were dressed in black and had guns slung on their shoulders, so I assumed that they were shoulders, uh, soldiers." Close quote. Does that refresh your memory as to witnessing arrests at the Trapang Tama Dam worksite?
President, um, witness, uh, please uh, repeat your answer to the question put by the uh, prosecutor because just now you answered before the mic was on. Respond. Yes, uh, that is correct. It, it does refresh my memory. And did you know who those people were? Savez-vous qui étaient ces gens qui avaient été arrêtés? But at school. Réponse. No, I do not know. No. Thank you, Mr. President. My time is up. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai plus de temps. So, my colleague Brian. President, thank you, President, thank you Mr. Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor. The floor is now given to the lawyer for civil parties to put question to this witness. You may now proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. Bon President, Your Honor, everyone in and around the courtroom. I would like to seek the floor for Mr. Lao Junti. He will be representing a legal lawyer for civil parties. President, you may not proceed to counsel Lao Junti. Large and team. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone. Bon après-midi à tous. Good afternoon, also, Mr. Winners. My name is Lao Junti. I am a civil party lawyer. I am from a legal aid of Et Cambodia. Legal aid Cambodia. I have a few questions for you in relation to the bank more construction site construction du, du, du site, euh, where you were assigned to work at that place. Some questions had been put by the co-prosecutors already. Vous a déjà posé un I will have questions. some other questions. Moi, You stated you were working at that construction site. Did a marriage happen at that construction site? And how was the marriage organized? Le site de travail et le chien. Comment était-il organisé? Answer: Yes, there were marriages happening at the place. Question. Council, thank you. Merci. Did the marriage, uh, was the marriage held for one couple or for many couples at a time? Est-ce que plusieurs couples ont été mariés en même temps? There were 30 to 40 couples uh, in a one marriage uh, at a time. Question. Question. Before the marriage was held for those couples, did the couples know each other in advance and did they know about the marriage uh, which would be held for them? Answer. They knew each other in advance and uh, they knew each other uh, through their respective uh, chiefs or their respective uh, regiment uh, battalion chiefs. Question. Question. Did they really want to get married? If they uh, really wanted to get married, how did they do? Did they make the proposal to si have the marriage held for them? Answer. So. 
they Reports. would go and uh, tell verbally the uh, respective chief. For example, a male uh, worker exemple, would uh, go to tell their chief and the female worker would do the same. And after, uh, the, uh, after they agree to get married with one, si another, with one another, then the marriage si would be marier, held for that couple. Question. Question. Was there any instance was, were there any instances that the couples uh, did not know each other in advance, but they were paired up? Answer. I Réponse. did not witness such incident uh, in my mobile unit. Au sein de mon Council, thank you. Now, I would like Question. to ask you about Merci. the time when you were working at uh, the construction site. Que vous me du temps où vous you mentioned sur le about du food ration. Vous avez parlé des ration. Could you Pardon. tell the court once again about the food ration? Vous nous de la nourriture une fois plus? How was the food ration divided or distributed so when you were working at that dam site? Pendant que vous travaillez sur le site du barrage. Answer. First, Réponse. one person received uh, three Au début, chaque personne meals uh, per day and I mean that they received uh, three cans of rice per day. Question. Question. First, uh, they received uh, the food ration, as you mentioned. And what happened uh, later on in relation de, to food début. ration? Et par la suite, qu'en était-il? Answer. Later Réponse. on, food ration Alors, was suite, reused, on a les and uh, the food ration was reused to two cans of rice per day, or even less than that. That is a one can and a des half, fois, une one and a half cans per, of rice per day. Question. After the Question. food ration was reused, I would like to know whether the Food, uh, the right work quota remained the same, or work si quota was also reduced. les mêmes cibles en matière de quota de travail, ou est-ce que le quota a été réduit After aussi? the food ration Réponse. had been reused, at that time, uh, the dam construction réduction, uh, was completed, and uh, we were relocated to dig a canal down uh, the. Dam site. Canal sur le site du barrage. Question. Question. Once again, the, the food ration was reused for workers. And did their strength re Rather, uh, was they, uh, were they weak after they, their food ration had been reduced, Après, or could they do uh, the work as normal? Ou les travailleurs pouvaient-ils uh, accomplir leurs tâches normalement? Answer. Réponse. They became uh, weaker and weaker Ils after the food ration had been reduced. Après que l'on a réduit leur ration alimentaire. Council. Uh, 
you made mention that uh, the food rations uh, were reused at the time when the workers uh, were assigned to dig a canal. Where did it happen? I mean, where did the canal, where was the canal located? Answer. We were required to dig a canal oui, nous uh, near un canal the dam construction site. Près du chantier du barrage. Question. While you were working at a dead mall dam construction Alors site, and you mentioned that uh, you were there until the end of the construction, were you relocated to work in other con a dam construction sites? Été envoyé à travailler sur d'autres chantiers de barrage. Answer, Réponse. yes, I was uh, oui. assigned to build another dam after that On a à time un autre barrage. in Conklein ah. area. Conklein. Answer. Question, rather. Was Conklin area close to the dam site, and did you chantier? all go together? Y êtes-vous tous allés ensemble? President, le président. You may not proceed. A counsel Notre for Mr. Kiosampon. Conseil de Kiosampon, vous avez la parole. Counsel Kiosampon. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I think, perhaps, a lawyer for civil party. Confused with the facts uh, mentioned by this witness, uh, lawyer for civil party asked about the time when the, the witness was uh, working at the Bangkok site, and uh, I believe that the answer, the period mentioned by the, this witness was uh, after je, the completion of the dam construction. La construction du and I believe that uh, the witness uh, went to work at Cone Klein after the completion of the dam construction. Lawyer for civil party, I will rephrase uh, my question. I would like to move uh, to another topic. J'aimerais de passer à un autre sujet. When you were working at the Pentmore Dam work site, you said that uh, there was a meeting, vous avez dit y avait eu, uh, or there were meetings, réunion, y avait des réunions. Were self-criticism or criticism sessions held at the time? Des et de Answer. Self-criticism and criticism sessions were sessions held almost every day. Question. 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 I, I believe that uh, in the meetings, instruction would be disseminated to the participants, aux participants and uh, I believe a quota was set for si workers, and if workers could not achieve Et or si accomplish the, the work quota, quota, what kind of punishment imposed on them? But answer. I already told the court that food uh, rations was reused. This one, this, is, this was one kind of the punishment imposed on us. Question. 
question. The food ration question. was reused, as mentioned by you. Comme vous l'avez dit, on réduisait so les rations. Does it mean that food ration uh, was reused until uh, the person uh, deterred what they did? Answer. Those who fell sick uh, receive uh, enough uh, food ration, but uh, for those qui who had a consciousness illness, as I mentioned, ration, mais comme je disais, ceux qui uh, une their food ration was reused, and after these uh, people uh, recovered from their so-called uh, diseases uh, or illness, maladie, uh, they would be required to go to work, and uh, their food ration was of uh, Provided sufficiently to them. De la nourriture en quantité suffisante. Counsel, you made mention about the adolescents or teenagers. Were adolescents uh, required to accomplish that three cubic meters of soy per day as well? Ce quota de par jour? Answer. There was no uh, certain. Uh, work quota for those adolescents or teenagers they worked in group. Question. Question. You stated that there were 30 members in a platoon and after the Order or instruction were received by the chief, and meetings would be convened among uh, the 30 members. And you stated that uh, three cubic meter of soy was given to one particular worker to accomplish per day, and if uh, that individual could not accomplish that work quota, could uh, somebody else within the group help him or her to accomplish the work quota? Si un travailleur ne pouvait respecter le quota de 3 mètres cubes par jour, est-ce qu'un autre travailleur pouvait l'aider à atteindre l'objectif? Accomplish the work quota, the deputy chief of the platoon or member of the platoon the could help uh, that person. Aider cette Question, personne. did everyone receive the same work quota? Mais I mean, including uh, the chief of the platoon and the deputy chief of the platoon as well, did they receive the same work quota? Aussi ce quota? Answer, Réponse. actually, uh, no work quota uh, en fait, was set uh, for the th uh, chief or deputy chief. Chef Mr. President, I think uh, we still Maître have a few Monsieur minutes, so I would like to seek the floor for the international lead call lawyer. President, you may not proceed the international call lawyer. Maître. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je remercie mon confrère de m'avoir laissé ces quelques minutes car je souhaitais poser quelques questions de suivi concernant la, la question des mariages. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Je m'appelle Marie Guiraud. Je suis avocat des partis civils. Et je voudrais donc revenir à ce que vous avez indiqué sur les mariages qui se déroulaient. Vous avez parlé de 30 à 40 couples qui se mariaient en même temps. Je voulais tout d'abord savoir si les cérémonies étaient conduites sur le chantier ou ailleurs. Où étaient conduites les cérémonies de mariage quel était votre rôle à vous, euh, si vous en aviez un, dans la cérémonie du mariage Answer. 
I was invited as a guest uh, during invité. the marriage time, invité. and I was there to attend pour the marriage. marriage. Aviez-vous reçu des explications à l'époque sur uh, le fait que autant de couples étaient mariés en même temps so sur le chantier Answer. Yes, they oui. gave explanation during that time. Oui, nous they said parents in the past have spent some money to hold a marriage for pour their mariage. children and uh, during this time uh, no need to spend anything. Uh, what we need what we needed to do is to allow the Tout couples to uh, hold their arms together and make resolution. Les couples habitaient-ils ensemble après le mariage Did the couples live together after getting married Bad. Answer. The battalion chief allowed the newlyweds to stay together for three days. Et que se passait-il à l'issue de ces trois jours And what happened after those three days? En tout cas pour les hommes, j'imagine, en ce qui vous concerne. For the men, if you can speak to that. Answer. After three days, uh, the newlyweds uh, would uh, meet each other once in every ten days. Savez-vous si les parents des mariés étaient informés et présents lors de la cérémonie du mariage Married couples' parents were informed of their wedding and were they present at the wedding Answer no. No. Juste pour clarifier, non, ils n'étaient ni informés ni présents à la cérémonie. C'est bien ça que vous nous dites. Answer that is true. Oui, c'est exact. Vous avez indiqué que vous étiez invité lors de ces cérémonies. Pouvez-vous indiquer le nombre de cérémonies auxquelles vous avez assisté lorsque vous étiez sur le chantier de trappé en main Je vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué que les époux passaient trois jours ensemble et puis qu'ils retournaient travailler par la suite. Où logeaient les époux lors de ces trois jours Answer. The battalion chief would contact le chef de bataillon the cooperative chiefs and uh, chef de they would uh, find a house close by to allow the newlyweds to spend time so for three days. Vous avez ensuite indiqué que tous les dix jours, les époux avaient le droit de se voir. Fallait-il que les époux et les, les hommes, par exemple, en ce qui vous concerne, demandent l'autorisation pour rendre visite euh, à leur épouse ou est-ce qu'il y avait un, un système différent Answer. 
there was clear instruction at that time that the newly wet could spend time uh, together for three days after the marriage, and after that they could uh, visit their wives or husbands once in every ten days. Fallait-il qu'ils demandent l'autorisation pour se déplacer et aller voir leur, leur épouse en ce qui vous concerne, puisque j'imagine que vous étiez plutôt au courant de ce qui se passait pour les hommes For those who stayed close to their spouses, they need not. They needed not to ask permission. But for those who were working away from uh, their spouses' houses, they had to ask for a laissez passer or a letter. Une lettre leur permettant d'y aller. Qui octroyait ce laisser passer À qui devait-il demander l'autorisation, le savez-vous Answer. The battalion chief. C'était le chef de bataille. Et j'ai juste une dernière question puisqu'il est, il est 4 heures. Avez-vous vous-même été marié pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique Answer no. No. I uh, did not get married, married during that decay. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Témoin, d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Merci, Monsieur le Président. J'en ai terminé. August 2015 at 9 a.m. The chamber will continue to hear witness Gang Tall, and if time allows, it will continue to hear to TCW 889. Please be informed. After hearings, to TCW 889, uh, the chamber will uh, continue to hear uh, to TCW 937. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kang Tol. The hearing of your testimony as a witness has not come to an end yet. You are therefore invited to be here once again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Court officers with the West Zoo unit. Please send uh, Mr. Kang Tol to the desired destination de and please invite him back into the courtroom tomorrow, 11 of August 2015, before 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring the two accused, Mr. Nguyen Chia and Kyusun Pong, back to the detention facility of the ECC and have them returned tomorrow, Tuesday, 11 of August 2015. The court is now adjourned.